Yes. Guys, this is what the gas is in New Jersey. My, my, my tank was a half, and I haven't even used my van. When I turned my keys in, it was a full. So that's what it is, guys. And with credit of our, uh, you know, a few. Guys, I went around and I decided to give you, this is like the cheapest gas place. I mean, after the one that I go to, this would be the cheapest one, the quick check. It's $4.69 for regular, $5.09 for super, $5.29 for premium. They don't sell diesel here. Oh my goodness. Guys, guys, this is the quick check. And I uh, drop off the laundry. Even the laundry prices to do the wash went up. So this is what's going on now, guys. In New Jersey, the, well, on this gas station, I've seen lower, like maybe two or three cents lower. But this is what it is today, uh, Saturday, uh, May 21st. Four sixty nine regular, five oh nine plus premium, five twenty nine, and diesel is six eighteen. But in some places, I saw seven dollars and something cents. I just couldn't stop to show ya. So I'm on my way home now. I am full, okay, I am over here full, so I'm good. So guys, just giving you the 411 on New Jersey, this is central New Jersey, guys. It's getting really bad, and I keep telling my daughter, when you, when you use a quart of gas, put that $20 in there, but no. I, I put in 50, 50 bucks, and it, that's what that's high as it went to. I figured maybe another five dollars would have filled it up. So there, guys, that's that's what it is right now. In uh, different gas stations have different prices. You know, the more like the Shell gas station, the Sickles, the BPs, um, you can expect maybe like fifty cents more than what it says up there. Okay. So there you go, guys. Just a little bit of news for today on the gas prices in New Jersey. In certain areas, certain gas stations, actually, I'm sorry. Certain gas stations where they always have a sale. So the higher brand is uh, Shell, BP's, uh, Seagulls, you know, those, those type of gas stations. They are a little higher. Guys, I'm at a light, red light here. This is the bridge that crosses over to Staten Island, New York. And this is the Shell gas station. And that's because maybe it's, I, uh, the guy just told me because it's the weekend, they kind of lower it a little bit. But on the weekdays that people are working, that's when they jack it up because people have to go to work to and from or work and back or whatnot, okay? So that's the prices here, guys, New Jersey. So I'm right, I'm right up under close to this bridge, okay, that goes, let me see if I can give you a little view. If I get a bad shot, uh, bear with me, because I can't be looking at the, at the, at the, at my phone, I look at, woo, if I go through there, if I go through there, guys, I'll go to New York. <laughs> uh, 40 minutes, I'll be in, uh, in, um, in Brooklyn. That's the outer bridge crossing, guys. Yeah. You want to go to New York? All right, let's make a left. Let's make a left. Let's follow the left. We're going to get on the bridge, guys. We're going to get on the bridge. Let's go to New York. The heck with it. Let's go check out New York. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, how beautiful. Let's go to New York. Ah, no, we're not, guys. We're going under the bridge. See that top bridge? That goes down to Staten Island. And from there, the Verrazano Bridge. And you wind up wherever you want to go. So, I'm going home. Because I can't afford to be wasting this gas. So guys, I, uh, I put everything back into my van. Everything I took out to go camping last night. Now work out. This little curb right here is a pain. So uh, I don't know why this town got so many curves. Especially like on highways that you have to, to
to get on into the highway, see that one up there? To get on into the highway, you gotta go around these darn circles. And then in the winter time, when it's icy and snowy, you know what happens, right? You know what happens? I, I'm testing my, my, my van today, actually, also, guys. Ever since I got the part fixed, I haven't driven the van until today. And it cost me $50 to, to put gas. I was just in that park, guys, putting my stuff um, inside back into the van. And I dropped my laundry off. So I told the girl, dude, that's my mechanic right there, guys. See that little shop right there? But they are so good. Espera, como tu ta? Todo bien. Yeah, guys, so this is a church here. They're saving food, guys, for emergencies. Only for emergencies. That's it. The pantries are closed in New Jersey. Um, there's one place only, and that's only for the third Thursday of the month. I try to pass the word out to people. I can't be out there on Thursdays and no Thursdays because I don't have my vehicle. And then again, I'm not the type of person to just go in and pick up stuff just because they're giving them out. Because if I have something at home, I try to bear with what I have and do what I can and leave that for someone who really, really, really doesn't have anything in their pantry, whether they listened or not or they don't have the resources. You know, we have, we can't be judging people for not being prepped up and, you know, I can't do that. I mean, I'll complain about the ones that I know they can. Yes, they can. Now, where the heck am I gonna park? This street is, oh, Jesus. Guys, I'm gonna put you down for a second. Cause I got, okay, I got a spot right here. And you think, Randy, we ain't gonna get in that spot? You watch me. Hold on, guys. I don't like to uh to get close to. Let me see. I'm gonna get close to the one in the front because uh, these people here will 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 block you from from. from I had to close my window for a second because there's this is there's this this um this chick around the block that um she's an elder lady too. I mean not that elder, but you know, just because you got short hair don't mean you know don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Um it all depends on the back of your haircut, you know. You know which way you're rolling it for the back of your hair. You can have short hair like I do, okay? I mean, I, I cut it down like that because in about a month, it'll be just the way I want it, nice and in place. But um, if the back of your, this is the saying that I hear, okay? And that's what my son, the barber, told me. And a lot of women that I know. I don't have anything about uh, against any LGBTQ or nothing like that. Girl, I got a lot of girlfriends like that. Right now, I just ran into at the, at the uh, gas station that I pumped gas at. I ran into an old friend of mine. Oh, my God. I know him for like, ooh, 30 years. And he, he's gay. And he is so much fun. I, you know, I, I love gay people because you they are a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun with them. Right in now, the house on the corner by me. There's about four of them there. Um, the rented rooms are the f related or what? I don't know what part. The lady rents some rooms, the studio upstairs and part of the basement. And um, I, you know, they're so sweet. They're uh, to me, they're about the sweetest person that I that I, that you can meet. You know, they're really down to earth. I, I have nothing against them. I have fun. I love to see them. I love the way they talk. I just love it. I'm not. I, I you know, you, I, I, I study everybody. But um, some women will look at you because you have short hair. They think that you're trying to hear she come again. Um, ooh, let me look the other way. Because um, she has said some things to me, and I, I'm about to punch the, the heck out of her one day, so she'll get it straight. Um, she walks her, dogs all, uh, her dog always um, and stops right in front of where I live at. I guess she saw where I, where I lived at. And um, she will. She will stop there and look and look. So a couple of times in the summertime, I used to walk around the block a lot and stuff like that. And um, 
run into her. She has that big pit bull. Lord have mercy. You keep that pit bull. So anyway, guys, um, the story about the short hair. If you have a short hair in the back, cut round it like a man, okay? Like a man's hair cut, round it all the way around in the back. Uh, then you are, then then you are, um, let's say lesbian, okay? Um, if you have the ends, okay, instead of going straight cut, it goes down like an M. If you have like an M design on the back, then the first thing I know, I knew, I found that out when I used to do the DJ, because they saw me with short hair. Women, women will come up to me and be telling me, "Damn, you know, you look so hot. You look good. This and that." And, and I said, "Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you." Then I got to the point where they, you know, they kept on me, and I said, "Listen." Then when I got I, the the question was brought to me, you know, hey, do, do, you know, do you like do you like women? I'm like, listen. Um, I can talk to all women. I can chill with women. Uh, we could have a sleepover of women. Just don't touch one piece of my hair because it's going to be on. Okay? I don't roll like that. So, there's, I guess the word spread out. But I love them anyway. We have good time. We, I mean, we have good times. I still see some around. We have good times. Um, my daughter has friends that are that are lesbians and gays. And she, and she don't have no problems. You know? They're, they're nice people. Not because they're like that. You know? It's that we have to... We have to uh, be against them. A lot of people are against it. Um, I don't see why. I mean, this is the 20th century. <laughs> you know, um, we have movie stars. We have governmental people that came out of the closet eventually when the big LGBTQ, um, you know, came out of hand. A lot of people have a problem with it because, they are, you know, they have small children and they don't want them hanging with them because they don't want them to come out this way or that way. Let me tell you something. God will punish you. God will punish you and you're going to pay with one of your kids to, 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 to have, you know, that, um, that part of, uh, of, um, of a change. So eh, we, we, we can't, we can't. This is the 20th century. People need to just wake the heck up, okay? Um... It is what it is. It will be what it will be. We don't want. We don't want to go through what we're. We don't want to pay high price gas, but we have to. We have to. You. You want to eat? Well, you're gonna to have to pay thirty dollars for your meat if that's what it costs. Okay. You want to ride around? You gotta guess up your car whether it's ten dollars a gallon. Okay. Um, if there is no Chinese and there's only pizza, and you want well, but you're gonna to have to settle for pizza. So you. You. We have to. Um, learn how to, I mean, not everybody will, but um, those of you that do, um, if there isn't this, there's that, there's that, there's that to, 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 to eat, you know, and gas up and, and whatnot. But um, I, I, I see, I hear, I observe people, you know, I can pick out somebody who is trying to kick it to me because that's what they, you know, that's, this is the 20th century. I know the language, okay? I am, I am from the ghetto, all right? I was born and raised in, 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 uh, in, uh, in Hill Hall of Brooklyn, New York, okay, back in the days where everything was, out, you know, everything was everything. Um, so I, even though I live in New Jersey and I may not talk the talk, and sometimes, yeah, my mouth will fly off the, off the hook because I am originally from Brooklyn. And if I have to fly off the hook like I did at the gas station because, you know, there's, there's two pumps. The guy's behind me, but he wants to move up just because he wants to move up to my spot. So I was supposed to just, what, fly out of, I fly out of the, the little spot I had ahead of me to, to, to get on the road when he could have just waited at the pump behind me? I know these guys for many, many, many years. I've gassed in that place for That's the only place I do gas anyway. I don't, give, I don't care what it costs. I will go there. And, um, and they've always treated me nice. And they're Indian, uh, Muslim, uh, Asian, whatever they are. I don't care their nationality. I don't care. Um, they're nice to me. I'm nice to them. I chat with them. I joke with them. Yes, I do. Um... So actually, an old time, an old, um, I know David for like, uh, wow, for like over 30 years. And, um, and he's gay, so I, I know he's gay, and he, you know, he, he had called me one time about the guy at the gas station. 
I said, you know, he's done. He's, you know, they're they're straight. They don't they don't do that. How you know? How you know it? I said, leave him alone. I play with him because it makes his day. I make him laugh. Um, he smiles, you know, and, and 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 he'll just, you know, he'll just laugh. And at least I made him laugh. You know, what I'm saying he knows I don't mean no harm. I know him. I know the gas guy since I worked in the veterans, and that was uh, 25 years there and five years. Um, well, four years, you know, um, I still go there. And um, sometimes they go back to the country and come back and they bring a different one. But as they go and come, I already know them, okay? They left and they came back and the other one left and they come back. And I know every single, every, every one of them. They're very nice people. You know what? You have to talk to people. You have to get to know, to pe- uh, get to know people. You, you, you do your, you know... Be friendly. I I don't know what it, what does it cost people to be friendly. I don't know, guys. What does it cost a person to just be a friendly person and not a a criticize a person? Because there's a lot of people that all they do is just criticize, criticize those people. I try to stay away from. I try to stay away from. I will totally ignore them, because the life is too short. For, for for all of that nonsense. That's just pure nonsense, okay? Um, it's best to be nice, be yourself, be humble. And tell the truth, no matter what the heck it is, okay? Just say it. We are a family. If you have channels and you became a part of a panel like I have, um, it's not just my channel, guys. I am involved with People who have channels and they have panels. Panels are multiple people that come on on live streams and shows and stuff. And they have a variety of talks. And it doesn't have to be about what's going on in this world. And I truly learn from them. And they're really down to earth. But they don't do regular live streams like um, the daytime sometimes. They do it like way hours of the night because, you know, they know what crowd is the fun around say whatever do whatever i mean whatever comes out of your mouth it's not it is it's just i was criticized a couple of times i don't give it on mine when it's time to you know run my mouth i will run my mouth you know just like i did at the gas station um, i don't know if it came out on the video or not because i shut it off but i went off on him you know what what's the what's the rush you can stay right where the heck you at and you can pump your gas right behind the, the, the pump, right behind me. Why are you beeping your damn horn at me? What is the rush? That's what I told him in Spanish. Well, what's the, pro- what's the problem? Take it easy. Take it easy, I told him. What's the rush? I'm putting my seatbelt on. I'm, I'm putting my car away. I'm starting my van because, you know, at one time they said when you pump gas, um, shut your vehicle off because it's uh, something with the gas and... Um, and your electronic vehicle has caught in fire uh, some time ago. I don't know if y'all, y'all ever uh, rem- if y'all remember that. I do. And it says shut your vehicle off anyway at the pump. So ever since I heard about that some years ago, I always shut my vehicle off. I take my seatbelt off. I'll joke with the guys while he's pumping my gas. You know. And um, and this guy, I, I, we, we were, we're done already. I'm putting my card away as quick as I can. I, I, I grab for my seatbelt. He's, he's over there beeping the horn behind me. Well, you think I'm going to get up and go? No. I stuck my head out the darn window and told him what to do. What is the rush? Just because you want to stand where I'm, my spot here? You already back there. What's the rush? And the guy was going to pump gas on his side, but he wanted to move a little bit ahead. Oh, please, give me a break. That's what I say. Leave people alone because you don't know what's on their mind. He don't know what's on my mind. He don't know if I would have got out of my car and grabbed him and snatched his ass off to out of the window. Okay? Because, uh, you know, I could be in a stress mode. You don't know what people's situation are, so leave people alone. So he was like, okay, you know, he took his hand out of the window. No, 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 okay. Okay, okay, yeah, because I, I opened up my door. So he was like, no, no, okay, 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 all right, well, take it easy. Take it easy, I told him. Just take it easy. And the gas station guy, he's never seen me like that, so he's like, wow. I'm like, what's wrong with him? Oh, he just, I was going to pump gas to him. My buddy's going to pump gas. He just, I don't know, he just wants to come over here. Because over here, there's shade. Well, 
gonna turn the damn AC on. So <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta, you, don't be rushing people in, on the road. That that's how you get in a whole lot of trouble. But you know what? I I'm, I'm from New York. I you have to sometimes show your true colors because people will jump over you and do what the heck they want with you. No, not me. And you ain't jumping over me. You ain't gonna tell me what to do and you ain't gonna run my life. All right, I have stress enough as it is and I try to de-stress it and not think about and do my things on a daily basis as I can. I don't need nobody in my life rushing me any damn where from north, south, east, or west. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will tell you what to do. Go find somebody else to nag and pick and, and mess with. This, this is not the one. So, yeah, guys, you know, people, and that's not the first time I heard a lot of people telling me about, even in the bodegas, they be rushing. Mira, uh, how much is it? Uh, what way? You know, well, but it's just two dollars. It's, it's a two dollars. You know, and they'll just leave because the, these bodega people, too, I tell them, listen, you, you, either you need a second person back there with two registers, or you got to do something because sometimes this store is empty, sometimes it just gets packed. And you don't even know the prices to your own damn articles in the store. And the price is right in front of your nose. And I don't know what the heck you're doing fumbling back there with. Okay? You'll be looking to the north, to the east, and then to the southwest, and all, and before you can even get a darn bag. And then you got to touch every darn article. I hate that. I hate when, you know, you got like four items stacked on top of each other. And they have to take the first item touch it all over the place, place it on the other side, grab your second package, place it on the other side. Then they charge, take a long time to charge you for well, how much it is. Then until you pay, that's when they start touching your stuff again to put it in a darn bag they're going to charge you 50 cents for. I hate that. If you're going to do that, put some darn gloves and change your gloves and clean the counter. So that's why I, I, I don't shop in a lot of places. I get stuff in the box, and then I'll sanitize it at home and whatnot. But I, I keep telling, why you do that? Why you guys to be touching? Why you guys to be touching every article? Two, three, four times all over the place. The price is right there. I mean, have y'all seen that happen, guys? Have you seen that? Have you been to a store, and they, went, they touch an article like all over the place? And they're the owners of the place? Gosh, that gets on my nerves. So, um, so anyway, guys, let me get in the house. It is gonna be 90 degrees. It is humid. I can feel the humidity already. I can feel the humidity already, guys. It's gonna be an ass kicker today. So, oh my, I cleaned my van. I mean, it was clean anyway. I just straightened out what I took out for camping. I took it out. I love spraying my vehicle because it smells so nice. When you open them doors, ooh, ooh. And I got a little bit of shade. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I got a little bit of shade behind me, so that's great. That is so great. You see? I like to have my, my van, like, in, um, in, uh, 